Why, yes I am. What's your name? Oh really? I don't have an official name. Just a number. That sounds a bit awkward. That sounds better. I like it. I know. But I guess that's why we're here. We are the replacement. You don't have to say that anymore. I have a new nickname, Boko. And who are you supposed to be? My dear engine, there's a reason why everyone is raving about us diesels right now. Instead of waiting for ages for steam to build up, all we need is fuel and then a turn of a key and we're off. No coal, no water, no fuss. Oh, I've heard about all you guys. You're multiplying like rabbits, popping up everywhere and replacing the tank engines. Come on, get moving. Oh my goodness. Blah. What happened? Seriously? I've only been working for six days. It wasn't my fault. Probably the fuel. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Great to see another one of my type. Why, yes. Did that happen to you? Oh, no. Do you think there's a problem with us that they didn't catch? Yes. Apparently it's happening to other Class 28s as well. Oh, rubbish. It's probably just a minor fault. They'll just bring all the diesels back to the workshop and fix it and then we'll be fine. Hello? What's happened? Fell out? About that, um... I've just heard some news. Apparently all Metro Vicks are going to be handed back to our manufacturer to get revamped. Yes, supposedly they're going to fix our problems. Hooray! What? What about our original homes? Aren't we wanted back there? This is outrageous! They still use steam engines on different parts of the line, yet banish us to Cumbria. Oh my god! What happened? Rubbish! They'll fix you up. And? How is he? What? No! How could they do that? Rubbish! Absolute rubbish! It wasn't too expensive! They just didn't care! They think we're all useless now! I will not calm down! Curse British Rail and their oppressive agenda! I will not stand for it! He did die in vain! All he wanted was to be really useful, and they just threw him away! In fact, all we Metrovics want to do is be really useful, but we were cursed with bad engines! But why us? Why did it have to be us? I hope so. By the way, I forgot. What's your number? Oh yes, I remember now. But I tell you, the writing is on the wall for us. Wait. Oh my god! Vulcan? It's you! Oh, I can't tell you how glad I am to see you. What? But that wasn't my fault. And it wasn't my brother's either when he was scrapped. How dare you! I don't understand. I thought we were friends, Vulcan. Why, you rotten, backstabbing, betraying son of a- You don't understand, Vicar. He was my friend. But I haven't got any friends left. It's no use anymore. I'm going to fail regardless. What's so bad about Sodor? Um, I guess I'll do it, sir. What lovely engines. My word, this is an awful hill. I wonder how many engines get stuck here. Uh-oh. Brakes, driver! Hey, driver. I think we could push them and pull the freight train. We're going to the docks as well. I think I can do it. We'll get the goods delivered, plus spare the passengers a long wait or a missed boat. Well then, this will be your lucky day. My god, I didn't think this would be so heavy. Well, they call me Boko. Thank you, sir. I must admit, I don't hear people call me that too often. Phew, that was hard work. I hope I can make it home. Oh dear, not this hill again. Come on! No! I can't do it! No! I can't fail! This is it! I'm done for! It may be, but it depends if the manager wants me to be fixed. Leave it, driver. This engine is only natural to assume that. We diesels have a pretty bad reputation amongst steamers. Just take me back to Barrow, Mr. Steamer. Oh, really? Wow! That's nice of him! Huh. Yes, that's me. Believe me, I'm not old, but I know very well what it's like to be useless. I wish our controller was like that. All he cares about is modernization. Our class is barely half a decade old, yet I assure you we're going for the scrap heap. My brother already went there. You shouldn't. I used to be prejudiced towards steam engines. I was just like all the other horrid diesels. I'm clearly not a true engine. The only reason I changed my views on them was because I realized what it was like to be considered inferior. I will warn you, sir. 
The repairs may not be permanent. My class is known for... Yes, I don't think anything will be able to fix us at this point. An engine replacement? Sir, you don't have to do that. That will be quite an effort and an expense. Are you sure you won't do that for someone who isn't even your engine? Are you serious? Sir, that would be an honor. I can't thank you enough. You are the best man I have ever met. But hold on a second. Will the other engines like me? I'll say that I've met quite a few that didn't seem too pleased. And so it was arranged. I was given an overhaul and felt like a new engine. Not long after I arrived, I had quite an encounter with two little engines that almost drove me bonkers. However, Edward and I soon managed to get a grip on them, and now we're all great friends. Some of the engines were a little skeptical to my arrival, especially James and the Scottish twins. But eventually, they saw that I was not part of those negative stereotypes. I befriended Gordon in such an amusing way. He still thinks I saved his life when I told Bill and Ben to stop tormenting him. I still don't know if he knows that the twins were only teasing. Unfortunately, starting in 1967, all my remaining brothers were scrapped. All except one, Vicar. His preservation was actually unintentional. But even though all of them and D5703 may not be here physically, their spirits live on. And I know regardless of what happens, my Sodor friends will always have my back. We are all here on the Fat Controller's Railway. We all stick up for each other and help those in times of need. Being on this railway made me realize quite a bit. I used to think being really useful just meant how reliable your engine ran or how fast you went, but it's not. Being really useful and reliable means being there for others and doing the best you can with what you're given. It's not about relying on someone to be there on time or to be free of problems. It's about relying on someone to lend a hand regardless of your problems. I'm proud to be an engine of Sodor and we team together to help those in need on this magnificent railway.